Hi. Before we close out the discussion of deals as games, I just want to point out that uh, there are two ways you can portray the deal-making game. One way is in terms of cells, the other is a decision tree. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate this and then there's lots of resources on the web that discuss this. It's discussed in my book, The Art and Science of Technology Transfer. Uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time going into detail, just enough so that you're aware that you can do it this way. Let me demonstrate it now. Okay, we can put a game in a box form pretty easily. Here's a three strategy game. Each party, there's two parties, so there's three strategies for two parties. One's a sale, one's a joint venture, one's a license. Again, we have sale, joint venture, and license. And we can calculate what the payoffs are to party one and put that there in the payoff to party two. Put it there and we got X1 and then X2, Y2, and you get this populated with the payoffs calculated uh, however you see fit to calculate it. Now, there's another way to depict this. Here's the deal. There's three options, a sale, a joint venture, a license. If I'm pursuing a license, there are three options here that have to do with both what I may do and under these, depending upon what I do, there's three options for the other guy to do something, the numbers don't have to be three, I just happen to use that here. Notice that there's a certain probability, a certain uh, likelihood of this happening. This has a 25% uh, uh, probability of happening. This has a 25% probability of happening. This has a 50% probability of happening. If I know as I go down and I calculate the probabilities out, I can also figure out the value at each node because that's going to be the values times the probabilities coming up and I figure that out and I can figure out what the value at each node is as I work my way down the decision tree so I can figure out which one of these paths all the way down to the end I want to take in order to do a deal. So that's how you can view it either as a game in cells or you can view it as a decision tree. Really doesn't matter which way you go. Remember that not every node in the decision tree has to be a node at which somebody makes a decision. Some of these nodes down here or elsewhere on the uh, decision tree may refer to events that will or will not occur. Uh, Will there be uh, a recession, which will make it harder to uh, do a license? If I'm looking for a uh, joint venture, and I will the uh, interest rates soar? And if the interest rates soar, then the partner's less likely to have cash to invest in a joint venture, things like that, which are beyond my control, but I can still take them into account in a decision tree. So anyways, that wraps up our initial discussion of games. I'm going to do a quick summary of the whole overview on the, uh, uh, that we've done so far, and then we're going to move on to uh, market research.